I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Octopi. It's ages five and up, two to four players, and takes 15 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to be the first to assemble an octopus that has tentacles, eight tentacles around it that all share the same color. Uh, to start, whoever most recently ate pie gets to go first, and uh, we'll say it's this person, and all you do on your first turn is you uh, take the draw action, which just means you take one of these tiles from these stacks. You're making three stacks to start and you're trying to stack them evenly so you can't see what's coming up underneath. Uh, they're two-sided tiles. You're not supposed to look at the other sides once you have it here, but it doesn't matter um, what you see as long as you put it together and um, you just have it like this at the end. Um, and so this player will say they take this one and you place it underneath the head. It works perfectly if you have them all lined up around this and this on top of them. And uh, this is a specialty one uh, tentacle that has two different colors. So they could go for, this would work for an all blue octopus and this would work for an all yellow octopus. So that's a really good one to have picked. Uh, this player is going to pick this piece that has a pie on it. And what's great about the pie is whenever you get one of those, these are a bunch of shuffled up pie pieces and they basically give you a special ability. So you get to draw one. It's not left on that. It's just part of your hand or set after that. And you can use it uh, at any point during your turn or you can save it to use for a future turn. You can only have a max of two of these at a time. And uh, we'll wait to show what this is because I'm gonna show what um, the regular dice does for gameplay. Um, so now after this, uh, it's time to roll the die. And there are a few different things that can happen with the dice. If you roll this side, you get to draw one more tentacle from any of these stacks and place it next to your octopus. Um, this is not super great for them because there aren't, it, well, there's a yellow. So there's a yellow, that works well for them. If there wasn't a yellow or a blue, you just have to take one and it's too bad. Uh, you cannot look at the other side. Uh, that really matters for later in the game uh, because one of the other ones you can get is, let's find it, the flip. If you flip, you can choose to flip any of these that you see out here. You can flip your own tentacle, you can flip one of the opponent's tentacles that can mess up their octopus, or you can flip any of these piles out here. So because this doesn't really, uh, they're, they're, how about we'll go ahead and have them flip this one because it would have helped them and maybe they hope it'll become blue. Ooh, that was very nice for them. So next time they are gonna try to get this one and it no longer helps that one, them, so that's nice. Uh, there is also, so now it's this person's turn, you can get a swap and that allows you, again, to swap anywhere. You can swap this one with this one, these with this, you can swap um, you have to swap, but it's any one of your own tentacles. It can be this one with this, but you can't swap theirs with one out here. It has to be one of your own tentacles. So we'll say they go ahead and swap this one with this one because they know the other person would want that one the next time. And it still works. They have two. Now they're kind of going for blues. It can change what you're going for. You don't just declare it at the beginning of the game. Uh, and then finally, the only other um, face that can come up on the die is a question mark, which is great. It's take the die action of your choice. You can take, draw, flip, or swap. So that would have been their turn. And uh, they're gonna go ahead and just take a green because they're trying to get the game moving along. Uh, there we go. So now we get to the pie tokens. And you can use these uh, during your turn. So they, um, you can take a second action during your turn and you can play up to one pie token at any time during your turn. Um, there's one you can play not during your turn. And they have a uh, nice bit on the rule sheet that we usually uh, reference for these. Uh, there is a re-roll. So if you get a die face, like it's, it wasn't really helpful for them to get, to draw one if there isn't one that matches what they're going for then you can re-roll and hope that you get something else better. Let's see what else they have in here. 
Block is the one you can play not during your turn. If somebody is trying to, uh, they get something where they get to trade or flip one of yours, you can play this um, when they're doing that action on you and use it up and block. Uh, there is a swap or flip one tentacle is an option. You can draw one tile from the tentacle stack. So you can have a really nice turn where you draw one. And if you have one of these tokens, then you can draw another one, which is very exciting. And then the only other one in here is steal. You can steal a tentacle tile from an opponent's octopus and add it to your own. Uh, so those are the different specialty actions. There's a few extras in here. If you run out of these, um, they get used up over the course of the game. Then you just take the used up ones and flip them all over and shuffle them in and then there you can use them all again. If somebody steals a tile that has um, a pie on it, then you get a pie token. Even if they had picked this the previous turn and gotten a pie token for it, and then they said they had an action where they were able to swap or steal it, and it came over here, they would get a pie token. Similarly, if you flip over a token that's on your spot. Here, let's find one of these that has a pie token on the other side. Okay, so if they had this and they used the flip action to flip it over and they revealed the pie token, then they would get a pie for that as well. And then finally, there comes a point at the end of the game a lot of times where you have a full eight uh, tentacles around your octopus, but they aren't all the same color. And so, you, if you draw another one at this point, then you just choose one to discard. And so they take this one, put this over here, and this would go on the bottom of one of these stacks. And you just pick whichever stack you want to put it on the bottom of and just keep on going until someone has an octopus that has all of the same color tentacle around it. If this person was going for blues, these would count. And then whoever does that first is the winner. So that's how to play Octopi. The target demographic for this game is kids, younger elementary school kids. Uh, the rule complexity is low, uh, but we did find ourselves referencing the rule sheet um, quite a bit to make sure we're doing the right icons to check on what the specialty tokens mean. So it's, it's easy, but you are having to reference the rule sheet a bunch. Uh, how competitive is this game? It's medium. You're competing to be the first to have all of the same color of octopus, but uh, I like how there's elements like stealing and flipping over tiles, and you can choose how, uh, how much you want to do that to the other player, or if you just want to do it on the center stack. I like a game that doesn't make me steal from my five-year-old that I'm playing it against, but it's an option if we've included her 10 year old sister and I want the five year old to win, not the 10 year old, I can just mess with the 10 year old the whole time. So it's, it's a nice level. It can be whatever level of competitive you want to be when you play. Uh, the replay value is high for, um, I'd say a, a short period of time. This is the kind of game where your kid is going to get it, be really excited about it, and you're gonna play it just kind of nonstop for a few weeks or a month, and then it'll probably be put away, but it's it has enough staying power, it's a fun concept, fun for older kids too, so you'll probably want to get it out still like a couple months later, play it once or twice, and so it's one of those games that uh, will get played here and there just a lot at the beginning and upon occasion later on, which is fine because we got this for a very nice price point and I feel like we definitely already got our money's worth out of this game. Uh, if you're looking for similar games, uh, Dragomino is a favorite for this age uh, and that's where you're matching up um, train style dominoes and trying to uh, collect dragon eggs and get the most baby dragons to win, super cute. Or if you like this kind of theme, uh, Crack and Attack is a couple years, it's ages seven plus on the box, but it's a cooperative experience with a lot of different things going on. It feels very exciting, but there isn't a timed element, and it just really is helpful to have uh, it be cooperative and makes it for a happy gaming time, which really matters in my family. Uh, but we have been loving Octopi. It has been a hit around here, so you should check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.